Hey, it's Bradley here with a quick critique of True Dog, which is a site I stumbled across today doing some research. And I was really blown away by the quality of the landing page and the checkout. Now, I know it's not a Shopify store, but there's still a lot of great stuff we can learn from this, especially if you've got a brand product and you, or a single product store and you're just driving traffic to one page or hopefully a series of pages that you're split testing against each other. So there's a lot to learn here, so I'm just going to talk you through it. But what you can also learn, if you even if you've got a multi-product store, multi-niche store, um, there's a lot you can learn from the copy here and the way it's structured, okay? And also a few elements on the page that you can inject into your store to help improve the conversions, okay? So straight away in the header here, we've got some social proof or third-party proof from uh, as seen on Fox, NBC, and all that stuff, okay? Now, obviously, not everyone's going to have that, but if your product's been featured on it you can leverage that um, or it might be something you want to work towards if you have got a um, a brand product like this that you can get a PR agency involved to help you try and get some of this uh, third-party credibility the other great thing about the header is it's got the phone number in there really clear okay with a call to action on it I'd add the opening hours personally as well um, or put 24 hours if, uh, if that's the case Okay, but even if people don't call that, that's still a huge credibility factor because it lets people know that you're a proper business and they can get in touch with you if there's a problem. Okay, Next up is a very clear headline that calls out the problem that this product solves. Okay, And also they're, they're, they're tapping into the buyer's language here, Okay, the best friend. So it's not just does your dog uh, have bad breath, is it your best friend? Okay. So they're really tapping into that emotional element there. Then the subhead free video reveals a surprisingly simple solution. Okay, so um, that's enticing me to watch the video. Now, it's great that they've got a Shark Tank um, celebrity on here, Kevin Harrington, to give them that endorsement. Obviously, again, not everyone's going to get that, but you can see the power of this stuff. Okay, and immediately under the video, you've got a really clear call to action. Okay, it can't be missed. So it's above the fold which um, is really, really important. Now, it could be that this video is enough to convince people and they're, and they're ready to take action, okay? Everything else below that is to help um, close the deal if the video isn't enough, okay? And what you'll also notice here is they've actually got this text link that does exactly the same thing as the button, but under the button. Now, I've used this a lot on long-form pages, and it works really well. And you, A lot of people say, well, it's, is that just overkill? But you'd be surprised how many people click on this as opposed to this because what happens is they read this and they're still thinking as they're moving down the page and then they're like actually I'm, I'm ready I'm going to click this so it's kind of like a backup to the button um, it's a weird effect but it definitely works okay so uh, underneath that you've got the 60 day money back guarantee which is brilliant no questions asked no hassles no problems so it gives people that uh, sense of security and peace of mind that if they buy the products and it doesn't work they can get the money back okay then you've got a nice subhead that um, really calls out the problem here and identifies the main problem of, as tooth extraction from um, actually what the underlying problem is of bad breath okay gum disease is the number one Ill illness affecting our pets they've got these good um, visual cues here leading you down the page they've got this handwritten font here um, again that tugs, tugs at the heartstrings a bit okay um, identifies that really clever they've got these Johnson boxes here which is just a term for these kind of different colored containers here that draw your eye to particular parts of the uh, content okay nice clear font good spacing nice size font as well very easy to read okay but also the good thing is that you can skim read this very easily and pull out the major points just by reading the subheads and things that they've drawn your attention to but teeth billing is is expensive and painful so again you know it's offsetting the price of this stuff against you know very expensive vet bills okay um, you know quick bit of science here to back it up a warning the problem progresses so they're agitating the problem here so if you don't take action now things are going to get worse for you okay it's a very important uh, element of any copy is like you know what are the consequences of not taking action um, so here they agitate the pain further so gum disease can lead to heart disease kidney failure and liver disease okay you know all these really emotive images here and what you notice is they haven't stuck to just one breed of dog as well they've sprinkled different images of dogs throughout so that um, whatever the breed is 
Um, you know, they're covering probably the most popular breeds here, I'd imagine. Okay, um, so here's a science bit, so more proof that they know what they're talking about. Okay, you know, that's quite an emotive image. No one wants to see their dog having to have that done. Um, you know, covering off on small breeds as well. And then um, we're straight into the benefits of the product. So introducing a 100% natural product, good copy doodle here, again, to draw your eye further down the page. The four main benefits here, each with a little summary, and then a call to action um, with the ways to pay this time as well, which is good. Then we're into um, third party credibility again as well. So we've got a, a veterinarian saying how good this stuff is. Okay, um, it's made in the USA, which again is important to people. Um, you know, it's not some dodgy Chinese product. Um, then it goes into the ingredients again, good use of the copy doodle to keep me scrolling and reading down the page. So you can see they've used bullet points here and numbered lists, sorry, not bullet points, bold and number, numbered lists to help skim readers, okay? Um, really nice clear imagery. And then we're down to the offer, okay? So you've got a $20 gift card as well. Um, it's saying that the value is $29.95 and we're gonna save up to 51%. Okay, now here's the first of the actual customer testimonials. Now I would have probably introduced these earlier. Um, I mean, they may get away with it because they've got a lot of third party credibility, but usually I would make sure there's at least one customer testimonial um, above the fold. So uh, right underneath that first call to action button. I'd also um, have the customer's surname on here, probably where they're from and ideally a picture of them as well to uh, and their dog um, to try and kind of bring it to life and you know video testimonials would be even better then they've got um, the story behind it and the passion behind it which is again really important from the founder and a final call to action down the bottom here okay um, so this bit's a little bit confusing actually because it's saying 29.95 value it doesn't actually introduce the price you're going to pay uh, until here unless I missed it earlier so I assumed I was going to pay 29.95 so actually they could probably make that a bit clearer so they've got the call to action and the money back guarantee here okay and then they've got these Facebook comments which is really good because that's actually like you know like I was saying earlier having the people's pictures and it brings it much more to life and makes it more read uh, real the only thing I'd do differently was I'd, I'd add the call to action in again at the end there after those just so people don't have to scroll back up okay so let's see what happens once we click the call to action so it's going to ask for an email address so we're just going to type our email into there okay that button's a bit broken the alignment on it all right, so now we're into the order form, which looks really um, clean and crisp on first impression. Now, obviously, this isn't a Shopify store, so um, the only way to replicate this type of checkout is using something like Funnel Builder, okay? Um, and then you can do that. Uh, or, you, know, you could copy this exactly if you wanted to. So um, phone number's there for anyone who's got last-minute questions. This is really good with a pre-filled checkbox. Yes, so I'm ready to freshen my dog's breath. And wipe my dog's smile right now and if my dog's breath and teeth aren't completely transformed I can get a full refund no questions asked thanks for the 60-day happiness guarantee okay so it's reinforcing the benefits and it's reinforcing the risk reversal which is really good okay then they've got this nice call out here that's outside the rest of the the kind of container for the checkout to draw your attention to get you to uh, prompt you into filling out the checkout information okay um, what you'll also notice is that they've pre-filled this uh, four bottle pack to try and increase the average order value, okay, which is a good move. And they've added free shipping to it as well and said that it's the best deal. Now, I would personally add some sort of stats in there to prove how many people actually take this, this um, option. So let's say, for example, you could say it's 82% of people take the four bottle pack, okay, because that would just help... Um, make that decision for people. You notice there's only three choices here as well. If they added a fourth choice, it would probably confuse people too much and cost them sales because too much choice equals no choice sometimes. Uh, the paradox of choice is a proven uh, psychological concept. So never offer more than three options. Okay. 
Um, so presumably if we click that, yeah, it just changes the image. Okay. Um, so you can see that the price is going down with each option. So um, if customers didn't necessarily notice that, I'd probably have that in the line here as well. So you can see exactly how much you're paying per bottle. Okay, then you've got the um, uh, Norton, McAfee and all that stuff to help people feel safe and secure. Okay, repeat the guarantee. This is what I love the most though, is yes, freshen my dog's breath now. So um, it's not just saying submit order, it's reinforcing the benefit at the most crucial point of the whole process, okay? And it's also tied in the money back guarantee to the button design. So it's really, really clever that, okay? Again, you'll notice that they've got the secondary button underneath, even though they both do exactly the same thing. So, it, so the text link here does what that does, but like I was saying earlier, it's a backup, all right? Then they've got the phone number again for people that might have questions. Reinforcement of the guarantee again in a bit more detail. A really good testimonial here and also the vet approval and um, you know another doctor vet here as well okay so this is a really really good checkout page okay there's nothing missing here at all I don't think um, I bet it converts like crazy now I haven't been all the way through this funnel but I can well imagine that on the other side of this I'm going to get into a really good email sequence um, you know, hopefully they're going to be some cart abandonment here for me because uh, I haven't gone through the process. They're going to follow up. If I was to become a customer, I'd probably expect that they've got um, an upsell and some high price premium products that they want to sell me into, or maybe it's a, a doggy newsletter of some sort, sort um, or some sort of training course on you know obedience, or I don't know what it would be. But um, you know, once you draw me in with this low end offer. There's no end of uh, opportunity to um, to really maximise your customer lifetime value. So really good stuff and I hope that's useful and I hope you can take some of those learnings and translate those into your product descriptions and other elements of your site to help you close the deal. All right, good stuff and I'll catch you soon.